In the summer of 2024, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft experienced yet another failure, and Elon Musk wasn't the least bit surprised. For years, Musk had been vocal about the weaknesses in Boeing's approach to space travel, and this latest setback only seemed to validate his concerns. While SpaceX continues to achieve successful crewed missions, Boeing struggles to complete even a simple test flight. The question now is, what does Elon really think is causing Starliner's repeated failures? And with SpaceX continuing to dominate, is Boeing's decline inevitable? Boeing's glory days and the beginning of its fall. It's almost shocking to see Boeing in such disarray, especially given its storied history. For decades, Boeing was the gold standard in aerospace innovation, excelling in both aviation and space exploration. Their reputation was synonymous with cutting-edge technology. But the Starliner fiasco has cast a long shadow over that legacy. To understand how far Boeing has fallen, we need to look back at its once unassailable position in the aerospace industry. Boeing's contributions to space exploration were legendary. They built the first stage booster for NASA's Saturn V rocket, which carried astronauts to the moon. They also designed the lunar rover that astronauts drove on the lunar surface, and played a major role in the space shuttle program. Even today, components of the International Space Station bear Boeing's imprint, and the company was responsible for the Delta IV rocket, used in countless space missions. At one time, entrusting the future of space travel to Boeing was a no-brainer. So, when NASA entrusted Boeing with the commercial crew program, no one batted an eye. Boeing was the safe bet, they had always delivered. But as the Starliner project stumbled from one failure to the next, it became clear this wasn't the same Boeing that once sent men to the moon. Something fundamental had shifted. The warning signs had been there long before Starliner even took flight. The turning point came in 1997 when Boeing acquired McDonnell Douglas for $14 billion, a deal that would change the company's trajectory. This wasn't just a business acquisition, it marked the beginning of a cultural transformation at Boeing. Before the merger, Boeing was an engineer's company, where engineers held sway, and quality and safety were paramount. Profit was always a secondary concern. But after the merger, the corporate culture of McDonnell Douglas, with its focus on profits and shareholders over innovation, began to dominate. Boeing was no longer the same company that built the Saturn V, it had lost its way. You may have heard the phrase, McDonnell Douglas bought Boeing with Boeing's own money. It sounds like a joke, but there's truth behind it. After the merger, Boeing's priorities shifted away from engineering excellence and towards cutting costs and satisfying shareholders. Engineers, who once formed the heart of the company, were sidelined, and that's when things started to fall apart. It took years for the problems to surface, but when they did, the results were disastrous. The Starliner mishap is a prime example of how Boeing's cultural shift led to significant failures. The Starliner project began in 2010 as part of NASA's commercial crew program, aimed at creating spacecraft to replace the aging shuttle fleet. Boeing received $18 million to kickstart development, with the goal of having Starliner ready by 2015. Given Boeing's prestigious track record, few doubted their ability to deliver. However, delays soon followed. By 2015, Starliner's test flight had been pushed to 2017, then to 2019. People began questioning why a company that once built lunar rovers and space shuttles with ease was now struggling. One reason Boeing was given so much leeway was its history of working on cost-plus contracts, where they could charge the government for costs plus a fee, which often led to increased spending. But for Starliner, NASA switched to a fixed-price contract, meaning Boeing had to absorb any extra expenses. This led to cost-cutting measures that ultimately caused problems. When Starliner finally launched in December 2019, it should have been a moment of triumph. Instead, it was a disaster. A simple clock-setting error caused the spacecraft to go off course, burning too much fuel and missing its rendezvous with the International Space Station. To make matters worse, a second software glitch, discovered just before re-entry, nearly resulted in a catastrophic collision. Although Starliner returned to Earth safely, Boeing's reputation was severely damaged. Starliner vs SpaceX, a clash of cultures. It's important to remember that Boeing wasn't the only company in NASA's commercial crew program. At the same time Boeing was developing Starliner, NASA also partnered with SpaceX, a younger, more dynamic company. What followed was a classic battle between the established giant and the ambitious newcomer, and spoiler alert, the newcomer won. In 2014, NASA awarded contracts to both companies, giving Boeing $4.2 billion to develop Starliner and SpaceX $2.6 billion for its Crew Dragon spacecraft. Many assumed Boeing, with its decades of experience, would be the first to deliver. But as we now know, it was SpaceX that succeeded. The reason? It all comes down to culture. 
At SpaceX, engineers held the reins, and innovation wasn't just encouraged, it was expected. Elon Musk pushed the boundaries, embracing risk to achieve remarkable breakthroughs. Failure wasn't feared, it was seen as an opportunity to learn and improve. This allowed SpaceX to move quickly, make mistakes, and correct them just as fast. Boeing, however, was entrenched in outdated practices. The corporate culture had shifted away from engineering excellence, prioritizing shareholder interests and cost reductions instead. Engineers were no longer at the forefront, with decisions increasingly dictated by business considerations rather than innovation. This approach is not conducive to success in space exploration. Astronaut Doug Hurley, who had experience with both companies, observed this firsthand. SpaceX engineers welcomed feedback and thrived on collaboration, while Boeing's engineers appeared overly confident and dismissive. This overconfidence resulted in a series of setbacks for Boeing. By 2020, SpaceX had achieved a significant milestone by launching its first crewed mission to the ISS. In contrast, Boeing was still grappling with the Starliner program. Following a failed test flight in 2019, Boeing faced mounting issues, culminating in a fuel valve malfunction in 2021 that delayed another launch. As SpaceX celebrated the success of Crew Dragon, Boeing found itself embroiled in blame-shifting with Aerojet Rocketdyne over thruster failures. The situation was chaotic, and NASA observed as Boeing repeatedly stumbled. In 2022, Boeing finally succeeded in sending Starliner to the ISS, but the mission was anything but smooth. Key thruster failures during critical moments marred what should have been a triumphant achievement. Although Starliner completed its mission, it fell short of the seamless operations demonstrated by SpaceX, making Boeing's efforts seem less professional by comparison. While Boeing struggled, SpaceX set its sights on ambitious goals like human missions to Mars. The divide between the two companies widened, leading SpaceX to become NASA's preferred partner while Boeing's reputation declined. By June 2024, Boeing prepared for Starliner's inaugural crewed mission, intended to mark a comeback with astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams at the controls. However, the path to redemption had been fraught with difficulties. From the outset, things took a turn for the worse. The initial launch attempt was scrubbed due to an oxygen valve problem with the Atlas V rocket. Frustrated, Boeing quickly rescheduled for a few days later, but the second attempt was thwarted by a computer error in the ground system. At this point, many began to wonder if Boeing was jinxed. Surely, things couldn't go wrong again, right? Wrong. For about an hour, the spacecraft lingered just beyond the space station, while engineers on the ground raced to find a solution. Eventually, they managed to get four of the malfunctioning thrusters working, allowing Starliner to dock. But it was clear to everyone, the mission had been far from smooth. Boeing narrowly avoided a major disaster, but the thruster problems raised serious concerns for NASA and Boeing engineers. They were left wondering why the thrusters had failed and, more importantly, whether they could be trusted for the return journey to Earth. That uncertainty forced NASA to make a difficult decision. They couldn't risk lives. Rather than bringing astronauts Wilmore and Williams back aboard Starliner, NASA opted to use SpaceX's Crew Dragon instead. This was a massive blow to Boeing, a company that had once played a key role in landing astronauts on the moon, but now couldn't safely bring them home. After three scrubbed launches and a near catastrophe, NASA had to make a choice, stick with Boeing or go with the reliable track record of SpaceX. Spoiler, they chose SpaceX. NASA ultimately decided to send Starliner back to Earth without a crew, throwing off the entire flight schedule. Wilmore and Williams had to return via SpaceX's Crew Dragon, creating logistical headaches for NASA. This fiasco pointed to a larger issue, Boeing was struggling to keep up with the rapid pace of innovation in the space industry, led by companies like SpaceX. While Boeing clung to old practices, SpaceX thrived by embracing risk and breaking new ground. As a result, NASA increasingly turned to SpaceX for human spaceflight missions. Now, Boeing faces a tough choice, either cancel the Starliner program or invest heavily in fixing it. But with the ISS nearing the end of its operational life, time is running out. Meanwhile, SpaceX is forging ahead, with its sights set on Mars, the Moon, and beyond. The lesson? Space is unforgiving, and complacency is not an option. Boeing must adapt or risk being left behind as SpaceX leads the charge into the future. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content like this. Thanks for watching.